Cardiovascular disease, as you know, is the leading cause of death worldwide, and among uh, all the risk factors, high blood pressure, dyslipidemia, and diabetes are the most important risk factor in this field. Uh, in daily practice, all our patients are receiving what we are saying, optimal medical treatment. And if you will see the data from uh, Euraspire 1, 2, and 3, up to 90% of them are receiving optimal medical treatment. However, if you will see how many of them reach the target, you will see that less than 50% uh, of them reach the target of uh, blood pressure, dyslipidemia, or diabetes mellitus. Uh, this is one reason for still having uh, high mortality in those patients with uh, a coronary artery disease or cardiovascular diseases. Another important reason is the adherence. And if you will see the data from all the trials, it seems that uh, um, six months, 12 months later, less than 40%, they will continue to receive their drug treatment. That means without drug, there is no beneficial effect. It seems that uh, if you are using combination treatment or if you are using a fixed combination treatment, then the adherence is higher because uh, people have many comorbidities and are receiving drugs for diabetes mellitus, for high blood pressure or for diabetes. The more the drugs, the less the adherence. Another important issue for the adherence is the cost of the drugs. But uh, now, by having in uh, our market also the generics, uh, it seems that uh, the adherence must be better. And uh, it's important to communicate with our patients in order to improve in daily practice the adherence. Why? Because blood pressure, dyslipidemia, diabetes, all of them are asymptomatic diseases. And because are asymptomatic diseases, uh, usually the people, they stop the drug treatment for different reasons, either because they don't believe that they need the drugs for all their life, either because of the side effects, and uh, as I said before, all of them are asymptomatic diseases, or because uh, they can see any improvement in the targets. So I think it's very important to communicate with our patients. It's important to explain the beneficial effects. It's important to explain them that uh, this is lifelong treatment. And we hope that if we will be able to improve the adherence, we will increase the survival rate. And at the same time, we will decrease the cost of uh, the drugs.